Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today's video is actually an older one that I'm revisiting. It gives you a quick overview of how I created my sewing room and this little office which you sometimes see in a few of my videos. So this is kind of a behind the scenes video. Stick around till the very end for some bloopers and some genuine silliness. My sewing room began as a glorious home office set, but once it was done, it looked quite different. This is how the original sewing room looked, but I've made changes to it over time and I'm going to show that in this video. Let's look at the original parts and pieces. The desk came with a lamp that I really don't use very much. The lamp moves too much when I'm making my stop motion videos. The original windows were from iClipart. The previous paper windows actually ripped and now I use a purple one that has been laminated. I made a miniature pin cushion that I still sometimes actually use. It looked more like a strawberry than a tomato, though I wasn't very happy with it. But my new one looks more like a tomato and you'll see it from time to time in my videos. The Gloria brand home office playset came in pink and all of these accessories were purple, which I wish I had kept. But instead I used spray paint to change all the colors. <laughs> The paint has to bond to plastic to be effective and I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to see what brand I used. Take a look in the left hand corner of the desk's top. There's a little platform. The lamp's base fits snugly onto this platform so even though I quit using the lamp it was impossible to get that base to come off of the desk. But the knob that's at the bottom of the lamp's arm makes it possible to remove the lamp's top section and that's what I've done. So in a lot of my videos you'll see that little base kind of hidden under fabric. I just can't get rid of it. The original sewing machine that I used in my videos was actually too small for the Shelly doll which is 1 6 scale and this little guy is 1 12 scale. So see how it's just buried behind everything? It just doesn't suit the scenes. So I bought this Galoob sewing machine which appears in all my newer videos and actually looks a lot like the real machine that I use. Um, and I love how it's more visible when I do my stop motion sewing. My quilt rack from earlier videos, I don't use it much anymore, but it was actually a dollar store jewelry display. And you can see the quilts on the wall behind me. I made the one with the purple hearts, but my mother-in-law made almost all of my tiny quilts. And I still use them in my videos and photos today. And in fact, um, the next stop motion is from my latest class, which again, I'll put a link to that in the description. And you can see those little tiny quilts in the background in a lot of these shots. The Glory office set came with these items and I was really confused about what those long skinny rectangles were, but I found out they actually slide into the base of the books. And again, I used my spray paint to recolor those and then I placed the books in my little cabinet, which looks pretty nice. Um, I also have lots of colorful fabrics in there still and the hutch is still part of the set that I use today. And it had originally been pink and white. I don't know if maybe I should have kept those colors. The pen and pencil fit nicely into the little utility box that came with it. And I added a pair of scissors that I found at Joanne Fabrics 
which were in the jewelry section. But the little phone that I have in the office scene, I really don't use it much anymore. I painted the original computer monitor black, and originally I used to print a paper screen with my old logo on it, but I've changed that. So in my newer videos, the screen shows my gallery, but it's not a paper screen. Sometimes I just add screenshots to the monitor and I use a digital art program for this today. Here are the parts to the little printer which I painted black and it sometimes appears in my office scenes. If you add a couple of pieces of real paper to it, it makes it look more realistic like it's actually a working printer and that's kind of neat. The Gloria office set came with a keyboard but I didn't like it, so I printed one from iClipArt instead. And I think mine definitely looks more realistic than the Gloria one. I used glue dots to affix things like the keyboard and other paper products. And let me tell you, glue dots are the key to making stop motion work. So I'll put a link to glue dots in the description. I still own the dress form, which didn't come with the Gloria set, but it's a little bit too small for Barbie dresses. You can kind of see it in that shot. Now in this photo, I've actually pinned the dress onto the dress form. The ironing board was entirely my own invention and I designed it to be collapsible, but I used it so much that the legs finally fell off and that was after a couple of years of just making videos like this with it. So a lot of times my shots will be zoomed in so you can't see the legs of the ironing board because there's actually a wooden platform. See it in this photo? I use that platform in most of my videos now and it's nicer for stop motion because it holds things still um, so that the ironing board isn't moving around as much. I still love this swirly fabric chair that I made which originally came in pink with the Gloria set, pink and white. I form fitted some blue fabric and painted the arms and the base but sometimes you'll see a little folding chair instead. The silver folding chair actually does fold up, which makes it easier to store in my photo studio. And it rolls around less when making stop motion than the blue chair does, which brings me to my blooper section. This next video clip is one I never used, and they're actually a lot like this, and you can see why. I'm waving at the camera, but you can't see the wave. Now this is Mama Kitty, who's constantly curious and would love to just rest under the heat from my lights. So when you see those cat hairs in my videos, <laughs> this little lady is to blame for the cat hairs. I love her. She's such a precious soul. Now this piece right here, uh, that shot was just too blurry and I wanted to use it for dialogue bubbles and that again happens a lot where there's blur. Sometimes I've got exposed areas of wall and sometimes I'm just out of the camera. That happens so much because I'm really focused on what I'm doing as a sewist, trying to do those trimmings and whatnot. Sometimes my images are too dark or the camera leaves a weird shadow and I can't use my material. And some images are, well, let's face it, just a little weird. <laughs> that was part of a doll restoration project that never really surfaced on my website. And when my daughters drop by and see this, they have a word for it. They say, mom is pickling dolls again. <laughs> Yes, when people drop in unexpectedly, it is a little tricky to explain what this is. And a lot of people who know me don't realize that I do things with dolls. They just think I'm a librarian. And no amount of pickling sometimes is going to resolve this dilemma. You're just stuck. Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you got a good laugh out of it. And have a great week ahead.